These have been sitting in my brother's room for the past 15 years. So, getting to the backstory of this pair, my dad got them off of East Bay in the catalog back in 05 when they originally released, and he ended up getting a pair from my little brother and big kids. And so, this colorway mainly consists of white and then French blue and small hints of red for it. Um, starting off on the top, for the upper, you have basically all um, white and then small hints of French blue consisting of the Jumpman logo and then the two, three that you usually see on every, you know, Jordan 12 silhouette. And then you have small hints of, of French blue and then the inside. And then on the back, when you get to the heel tab, um, you see the, you know, regular Jumpman Jordan and then um, small hits of red and then red for the two, two, three as well. And then for the bottom, the 23 tab right here is red also. And mainly, I really look forward to this pair um, coming back out, I believe, in May. And, you know, just going besides a regular Chicago colorway, you know, white, red, and black, um, this colorway definitely holds a lot of weight. You know, when they brung it out in 2005, I felt as if, you know, looking back, they definitely didn't try to do too much with the colorway. Um, it was just solid and, you know, it kind of stood on its own. You know, very similar to the True Blue Threes. And uh, like I said, besides being original OG red, white, black colorway, um, you know, it stands on its own and, you know, I love it. And I'm definitely looking forward to copping a pair um, later this year. You know, these Jordan 12s, they always seem like they had solid, solid leather and solid, you know, What's the word I'm looking for? Quality. They always seem to have solid quality. I never kind of had a pair of Jordan 12s that like felt like paper. Um, you know, kind of similar to Retro 7s, like I feel like I always get. Um, you know, these shoes, these Jordan 12s, this particular silhouette definitely feels as though it's of higher quality and I feel it every time I do purchase a pair. Um, going back all the way from the Cherry Red 12s and then also the Playoff 12s as well. Now, in regards to releasing and whether these things will sit on shelves or be like an instant sellout, it just all depends. I mean, we really kind of haven't got no information in regards to how many pairs they're going to be releasing and all that. But, you know, I go and look back at the Maroon 6s and I never would have thought, being that they were a quick strike, they would sit on shelves for like two or three extra days, you know, after release. And you can only really tell after, you know, it's all said and done. So. I look forward to seeing how these things will sell. Um, I'm sure they will because it just seems to be a solid colorway. You know, they're doing everything right with it. I don't think they changed anything. Um, you know, and that's a good thing. So it just really all depends. I was wondering to see if they were gonna have the metal aglets uh, for the men's pairs and they do. So, you know, I feel like the quality is, you know, as it should be and what it was in 2005. So it should be solid. It should be real solid and I expect it to kind of be a sellout. If it's not, then, you know, it's even greater for the people that want to get it, um, like me, because uh, I want a pair. I definitely do. So, for 190 the original box, retro card, yada, 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 you know, I, I can understand the price and I'm, you know, real cool and willing to pay for it. So, like I said, I look forward to this release. Um, I definitely will be trying to cop. I definitely uh, look forward to copping a pair. And let me know if you plan on doing it. Um, you can check out more of my work, more of my content on this YouTube page, this YouTube channel. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. For my social media, it's all down in the description. Instagram, PureCLS. Twitter, PureCLS1. And then Facebook, facebook.com forward slash PureCLS. I think. Check the link. Check the link. I'm not sure myself. I'm just talking. So, uh, yeah. Stay tuned. And damn, it's not happy holidays. I can't say happy holidays. Stay tuned.